I've written a couple of my more profound thoughts this morning's bullet point for you. And the first one is, hate is free. It doesn't cost anything to send a hate message on YouTube, but it costs you a hundred bucks to watch a band steal my music. I guess it's your choice. Um, if you're going to have that knowledge, at least, when you thought it was theirs, yeah, I could understand it, but now? Who called me a trap yesterday? She was an older woman in the library, I think. She might have been maybe related, like a mother, perhaps, of one of the people who stole my music. If she is, uh, I think maybe we should start incarcerating the parents, too. I don't know. They, it was their failure in properly raising their child that also was a factor in this crime. You know, raising this child who thinks that he's entitled to be loved, you know, for stealing my music. Uh, <laughs> I, I forgave Dean's mother the first time, but even though she bought his $10,000 sound system, apparently, but if she's involved this time, uh, she should go to jail with him. Uh, I had the misfortune of meeting that guy in 2008 uh, without my knowledge and it was totally accidental. Uh, uh, I took a job as a forklift driver at, a, at what turned out to be a kind of a scab labor outfit that services public events called NASCO Staffing. And uh, they told everybody that I was there because I was being punished for stealing my music. And it was actually the opposite was true. The band who they said I stole my music from was the, the, were the thieves and I was the victim. And I was just innocently looking for a forklift job. And they've tried to make that stick ever since for the last 11 years even as I've rewritten one song after another and put them on the internet. And when it comes to NASCO staffing, I think I would rather be engulfed in a swarm of tsetse flies and have my flesh stripped bare to the bone than to endure one more second of their association with me. My last thoughts this morning are around my government. It's a good government. Uh, it's a better government than most governments, I'm sure. And, of course, my life is in their hands completely. I'm completely at their mercy, so I really hope I'm uh, not going to offend them with what I have to say. Uh, I just thought that maybe, in my particular case, it seems that the disability program is a disability of it in its own right, that, that it seems to suppress me rather than helping me get on my feet. Uh, the best example, I guess, would be this tax credit, which I thought I was perfectly entitled to and would be, would have, and would have been great in helping me to get, escape this region and go do my music the way these offenders are always able to do. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm still optimistic about my future in music. I think that if these frauds can make money with my work, so can I. And it, I think it's just going to be a matter of more time and effort and enduring this unpaid, by the way, this unpaid barrage that's coming in from the mass, from people you know, watching TV or listening to something on the radio. Oh yeah, one last note. I heard that women were calling that guy Fonz. Does he look that good? You know, it's just my music doing that. It's just my music making him look cool like that. He's not really, he's not really that cool. He's not as cool as the Fonz.